Welcome to Barefoot in America. Today we're filming from Las Cruces, New Mexico, and just so excited to be on um, the trails in Dripping Springs, um, just outside of town. It is gorgeous out here. Snow has just come through and you can still see some snow on the mountains behind me. So today's going to be a back practice. And really when we think of a back practice, there's a couple things we can think of. One is the range of motion and maintaining flexibility and mobility of the spine. It's also really important to open up the hips because if the legs are tight, it pulls the back into flexion and that lordosis that so many people have from sitting slouched. And then finally, we want to do some back strengthening, some core stabilization. So we're going to see what we can get in in the next 20 minutes and just invite you to um, find a comfortable seat on the Mat to start, and I always have blankets or a yoga block under me, and this is because if the hips are tight and you don't have that under you, the back tends to round out. So I know even for some of my students, I've had to like stack bolsters to get them really lifted so that they can have an upright spine. So create a pallet for yourself that helps you sit where the knees can semi fall open. For some folks, the knees might still be here, but what would it take to get the hips to rise to really lengthen your spine? And just settle into Sukhasana, easy cross-legged posture. Close your eyes, rest your hands on your lap, palms up or down, whatever serves you well and feels good in this moment. And just come to your breath for just a few cycles. Inhaling deeply, everything expands. Exhaling completely. Inhale, notice the breath flowing into your body. Notice all the areas that expand. And exhale through the nostrils, letting all the air out. The belly squeezes in to push that last morsel of air out. And take one more giant deep breath in. And let it all out. Mm. Bring hands to heart center. Taking a moment to set an intention for your yoga practice today. As simple as a goal, an offering, a mantra, a positive affirmation, however you like to set intentions. The palm pressing to the palm, thumbs at your heart center, a gentle bow of your head. And seal that intention with a couple more rounds of deep flowing breath. Exhale, returning hands to your lap. We're going to flow with seated cat-cow. Inhale, lift your head and your heart. Let your back sway. Exhale, round it out. Tuck your tummy. Look down at your navel. Inhale, pull the chest through. Lift the heart. Extend your back. Exhale, flex your spine, rounding it out. And one more time. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Add arms if you want a little more. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach to the sky. Grab the air, pull it down, fist to waist. Round it out, two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, the arms up. Pause and hold, lift, reach long. Feel your rib cage lift off your waist. Pull the low belly in slightly. Keep extending your spine and let the left hand come to the mat. Tilt to your left, creating a side stretch on the right. And if you want to mirror me, you can always do the opposite side. Just know we'll always do both sides. And sometimes in videos, it's do we do what's true or do we do what the camera sees? Exhale, the right hand down. Inhale, float the left arm up and lean to the side. Just feeling that side body stretch. Do your best to keep your hips rooted to the mat. Feel the length and space you're creating. Exhale, the left arm down. Take your right hand over to your left knee. Lift your heart, lengthen your spine, left fingertips on the floor behind you, or maybe even a yoga block behind you. Really lift and lengthen. And gently find your way back to center. Find a rise in your spine. Take your left hand over to your right knee. Lift your heart. Start to twist. Right hand finds the block or the floor behind you. Lifting long in your spine. 
We always want to do twists with an elongated spine. So make the length of your spine more important than how far you actually twist. And gently make your way back to center. Come on over to all fours, your hands and knees. If you like to pad your knees with a blanket, take the time to unfold your blanket to give yourself that little bit of cushion. Hands on the earth, right underneath your shoulders, knees under your hips, and think about the distance wrists to knee as the length of your torso, shoulder to hip. Cat cows here, inhale, lift your head and tailbone, sway your back. Exhale, tuck your tummy, drop your head and tailbone, arch your back. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow, tuck the toes under if you want a little more. Exhale to cat, untuck the toes. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. And last time, inhale to cow. Exhale to cat, push back to child's pose, knees wide, big toes touch, buttocks come towards your heels, heart melts towards the earth. Give it a deep breath, just feeling the hip opening with the head bow to the earth and if it doesn't quite reach the earth put a block right there shift your weight back to all fours bring your knees closer together sit back again we're going to take just three rounds of salabhasana seal hands behind your back forehead on the block or the floor inhale float your arms up Extend your spine, exhale, bow forward, hands behind your back. Two more, just like that. Inhale, float it up. Exhale, bow it down. One more. Inhale, float it up. Stay tall, exhale, hands behind your hips. Hands rest right where the low back meets your pelvis. Inhale, lift your head and heart. Extend the back, press the pelvis forward. Exhale, upright. Inhale, lift your head and heart, press the pelvis forward, and exhale. And if you want a little more, tuck your toes under, really stabilize with the toes. Inhale, lift head and heart, press your pelvis forward. Exhale, back upright. Bring your hands back down to the mat, and take a moment to just take a plank on your knees and control your descent down to the earth, really steadily. Forehead comes to the mat, arms at your side. Pinch your shoulder blades down and back. Turn your palms down, hover the hands from the mat. Lift your head and chest, mini cobra. Exhale it down. Inhale, pinch the shoulder blades, palms face the earth. Fingers reach for the toes, lift the head and chest. The neck is just an extension of the spine. Exhale it down. One more time, pinch your shoulder blades down and back, palms face the earth, reach your fingers to your toes, lift your head and chest and just hover. Exhale it down. Bring your elbows forward, propping in sphinx pose. Elbows right under the shoulders, hands rooted to the earth. Press through your hand forearm complex, lifting your heart and maybe sensing a stretch in your belly, your chest and or your throat gazing ahead and for some folks this is a huge accomplishment to get this much back extension but if you have more available press through your palms straightening your elbows for a propped cobra and here if you catch your shoulders by your ears melt your shoulder blades down your back really feel like you're getting long like lengthening your neck holding for five four three two one melt it down Arms at your side, turn your head to the right. Inhale, float your right arm up and overhead. And as you do, lift your head and heart. Exhale, the right arm down, turn your head to the left. Inhale, float your left arm out to the side. Lift the arm, head and heart. Exhale it down, head to the right. Inhale, right arm up, it sweeps around. Float it up, lift the head and chest. Exhale it down, head left. Sweep the left arm up, 
overhead, lift, arm, head, chest. Exhale it down, head to the right. One more, just like this. Float the right arm up, lift the arm, head, chest, and if you want more, lift the left leg as well. Exhale it all down, head to the left. Float the left arm up, along with the right leg if you want the more. Exhale it down, one more each side. Float the right arm, lift the right arm, head, chest, left leg. Exhale it down, head to the left. Float the left arm up along with the right leg. Exhale it, melt it down. Take a pause, forehead on the mat. Feel your pelvis resting on the mat. And see if you can just hover your right leg from the mat. Grow long out of the toes, a straight, strong knee. Exhale it down. And then float your left leg up. Again, a straight, strong knee really growing out of your toes. And the focus here is your pelvis stays down so the action comes from the ball and socket joint of the hip. Lower it down with breath. Float the right leg up. Exhale it down. Float the left leg up. Exhale it down. Inhale, right leg. Lift and lower. Inhale, left leg, lift and lower. One more each side. Float the right leg up. If you want a little more, lift the head and chest. Exhale it down. Float the left leg up, lift head and chest if you want a little more. Exhale it down. Now squeeze the legs together like one serpent tail. Really hug the inner thighs together, the toes together. Float both legs up. If that's enough today, if you want more, lift the head and chest. If you still want more our airplane wing arms, and if you still want more, be like Superman. And melt it all down. Inhale up to a cobra. Hands are right under shoulders, elbows squeeze the ribs. Cobra, exhale to a child's pose. And come on over to your back. Lying down on your back. Knees bent, feet flat, arms at your side. Take a moment to just press down through your feet and make sure the knees are bent enough that you can touch your heels. Press down through your feet, lifting your hips from the earth. Coming into a bridge, higher, higher, higher. Press through your arms, pinky fingers root down to the earth to lift you a little bit more. Squeeze your buttocks a little bit more, and then imagine you're pushing your feet away from you to take some tension out of your shoulders. Lift a little more if it's in you. Exhale, lower it down. Bending the elbows now for robot arms. Four upper arms push into the earth. Knees bent, feet flat. Knees pointing right over second, third toe. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hollow your belly. Press through your feet, lift your hips. Keep rising higher and higher. Push through your arms to get a little more. Squeeze your buttocks to get a little more. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Set it all down. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply. Exhale, press through your feet. Start to lift, press through your arms, lift a little more. And if it's available, tuck your shoulder blades under you, interlace your fingers, straight elbows, pinky fingers press to the earth. Release the arms and set it all down. Take your right ankle to your left thigh. I'm gonna do reverse pigeon, but a modification first. If you need to, hands on your right knee, Pull the knee to your left shoulder and find a stretch here. If that's enough for you, stay right there. It's a great stretch. If you want more, right hand through the legs, keyhole. Grab your left thigh, pulling left knee to the chest. And for some folks, the head goes into this hyperextension of the neck. If that's you, just tuck your chin, lengthen the back of the neck. Whichever posture you chose, flex the dickens out of your right ankle so that the second, third toe lines up with the kneecap. And just hold for a few deep cleansing breaths. 
This opens your hip rotators, which attach to the back and have a lot to do with low back tightness. And just stay a little longer. Hmm. Let the left foot come down, uncross the right leg. Take a moment and cross your left ankle to your right thigh. If you want to do the beginner stretch, hands on the left knee, pulling up and over to the right shoulder, a diagonal to create this stretch. And if you want the more left hand through the keyhole of the legs, grab the right thigh, pull the knee to the chest. A gentle tuck of the chin and everyone flex the dickens out of your left ankle. And notice when you flex that left ankle, there's a deeper experience up in your hip. You are one whole being and every movement has its impact on other areas of the body. Feel the stretch and breathe into it. Inhaling, creating spaciousness. Exhaling, creating the softness. Set your right foot down, uncross the left leg. Take your arms in a T and let both legs fall to your right side as you turn your head and gaze to the left. Take a few deep breaths in this twist shape as we wind it down today. And draw the knees back to center and let both legs fall to the left as you gaze to the right. Be with your breath. Feel that twist in your body, never forcing, just taking yourself to an edge where you can stretch and open up. And bring your legs back to center. Give your knees a hug. Pull the knees to the chest. Maybe rock yourself side to side. Just massaging your own low back. Set the feet down on the mat. Straighten one leg at a time for Savasana. Your final resting posture. And give yourself permission to just melt into the earth beneath you. Feel yourself heavy, lying there, melting into the earth. Let the breath become more and more natural. Scan your body, notice any place you're holding tension. And just let that soften and melt. Say to yourself, I let go. The stillness of corpse pose, savasana. Letting the efforts of our practice integrate into this moment. In yoga, we practice the law of non-attachment. And this is that opportunity to detach from everything. A moment of surrender. So that when we reawaken... We are ready for the mystery of life. Relax your jaw, your face. Let your shoulders get heavy. Belly be supple. Gently awake in your body by bringing breath back in. Wiggle your fingers and feel them. Wiggle your toes and feel them. Slowly awakening your limbs. Take a good morning stretch when you're ready. And then bend your knees. Roll to your side. In yoga, traditionally the right side. And just take a little pause in Savasana B, using your arm as a pillow. And when the time is right for you, press through your hand and elbow and rise up, ending the practice right where we began in Sukhasana. 
And if you need that pallet under your hips, always take the time to grab it. Bring hands back to heart center. Reconnect with your own personal intention you said at the beginning of today's practice. Give thanks to your mind, body, and breath. And I thank you for joining me on the mat today. Namaste.